If you give me a kiss, I'll give you a golden ball, croaks the ugly frog. A kiss? But you're an ugly frog, says the princess shocked. No kiss, no ball, says the frog crossly. And so the princess gives the frog a tender kiss and the ugly frog turns into a handsome prince. The princess and the prince immediately fall in love and they live happily ever after. What a lovely story, Moosty! Yes, I wish I could kiss a handsome prince someday. That only happens in fairy tales. Ah, and fairy tales don't really exist. Don't you believe in fairy tales, Mr. Rabbit? No, of course I don't. Fairy tales are silly. Fairy tales are for girls. I'm going back to my burrow. Bye. Shall we get Mr. Rabbit to believe in fairy tales, Laura? Yes, but how, Moosty? Well, we'll just... Silly fairy tales. Hello, handsome prince. Who said that? I did. Handsome prince, me, the good fairy. Why did you call me Handsome Prince? I'm a rabbit. No, no, you're a handsome prince. But you don't need to realize it yet. If you kiss a tortoise, you'll change into a handsome prince. That's impossible. That sort of thing only happens in fairy tales. But this isn't a fairy tale. This is real. Find a lady tortoise and give her a kiss quickly. Really? Well, then I'm going to hurry off and find Miss Tortoise. <gasps> Miss Tortoise! Miss Tortoise! I'm a prince. You a prince? You're a rabbit. I am now, but if I give you a kiss, I'll turn into a handsome prince. Can I give you a kiss? No, I don't want a kiss from a rabbit. Come on, Miss Tortoise, please. It's only a kiss. No. Go away, I don't want to. Just one kiss, please. No. What happened, handsome prince? Didn't it work? In that case, you better kiss a hedgehog. That works too. Kissing a hedgehog works too? I know Miss Hedgehog. I'll go see her straight away. <laughs> Silly Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, Miss Hedgehog. Can I give you a kiss? A kiss? Why? Because then I'll become a handsome prince. A prince can kiss me, but not a rabbit. Okay, give me a kiss. But Miss Hedgehog, I can't give you a kiss with all of those spines. Didn't it work again, handsome prince? In that case, you'll have to kiss a frog. Quickly, to the pond. <laughs> That's silly Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit. Ah, oh, I found one! Here's a frog! Ribbit. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Do you want something? Ribbit. Yes, my dear frog friend. Can I give you a kiss? A kiss? Ribbit. Why? Because then I'll become a handsome prince. You a handsome prince? Mr. Rabbit, do you still believe in fairy tales? But this isn't a fairy tale. This is real. Come on, frog! Let me kiss you. No way. Rabbit. Hey, frog. Isn't it working, handsome prince? I thought you didn't believe in fairy tales, Mr. Rabbit. Moosty, it's you. So I'm not really a handsome prince. No, but you are the funniest <laughs> rabbit who ever was. <laughs> yes, and you can give us all a kiss. <laughs> the sun has just risen. It's going to be a lovely day. In the woods, everyone is already awake. Mr. Rabbit has already been out for a walk. <sighs> Ow! What in the world is that? Someone threw another empty tin can into my burrow. Ah! All that dirty trash. My burrow is not a garbage can. Ugh. People are ruining our woods with all their litter. 
Mr. Rabbit's right. The woods are full of litter. I'm going to tell Moosey about this. He'll be able to help. Moosey! Moosey! I have to tell you something. Mr. Rabbit, what's the matter? You look really upset. Moosey, you have to come and see this. People have been throwing their garbage in our woods. It's all over the place. It's filthy. We have to do something, Moosey. Is it really that bad, Mr. Rabbit? Yes, it's really bad. Come with me. We'll go get Sam and Laura, and then together we'll clean up the woods. A little while later, our friends are hard at work. Everywhere they look, they find garbage that doesn't belong in the woods. Look, Moosty! Empty bottles! That's dangerous! Miss Tortoise is searching under all the bushes. Look at all this litter! Mr. Rabbit is searching throughout all the burrows. <sighs> Everywhere he looks, he finds things that shouldn't be there. Before long, the cart is completely full. I think that's everything, Moosty. In that case, we'll take everything home and put it outside for the trash collector. Come on, Sam, let's go! Ugh. The cart is way too heavy, Moosty. You'll all have to push. One, two, three, and push! There you go, says Miss Tortoise encouragingly. Hey, Moosty, now the woods are nice and clean. But when the people come back, they'll probably throw their trash all over the place again. At this rate, we'll be cleaning up every week. That's true, Mr. Rabbit. We'll have to ask Daddy what we should do. Look over here, everyone. We're going to put up these signs all over the woods. Then people will realize that they can't just leave their litter anywhere. Trash belongs in the garbage can. We'll put garbage cans throughout the woods, too. There we go, Sam. That's great. There we go, Laura. Good job, Moosty. There we go, Miss Tortoise. That's very good, Mr. Rabbit. We're setting a good example. When all the children and their mommies and daddies clean up too, then they'll always be welcome to come play in our woods. <laughs> Moosty and Sam both have a racing car. They're having a race. Who's going to win? Watch out for Miss Tortoise, yells Moosty. Oh, what is that? Oh no! <laughs> Would you please watch where you're going, you two? Hey Moosty, let's turn back in Mr. Rabbit's burrow, okay? What is that? Oh, I better watch out! Gotta move! Uh. Hey, you guys! Can't you watch where you're going? Oh no, here they come again! <laughs> it's an exciting race. Who's going to win? There's the finish line. Shouts Moosty. No, I won, says Sam. No, I did. Laura, you saw us. Who won? Sam 
or me? Sorry, nobody won. You both had a tie. Can I try now? I bet I'll be faster than you two. I'm sorry, but cars are for boys, not for girls. That's silly, Sam. Girls can drive just as well as boys. No, they can. Come on, you two. Don't start arguing. All that excitement has made me thirsty. Let's go get a drink. Are you coming too, Laura? If you do, you can carry my remote control. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. Sam, can you get the cars ready for the next race? Okay, Boosty. Come on, Laura. Just you wait, Boosty. Next time, I'm going to definitely win. Meanwhile, Moosty and Laura have walked around the house. They sneak a peek at Sam. The cars are ready, Laura. Now it's your turn. To start the car, you press the red button. Hey, uh, what's going on? Moosty's car is starting, but where's Moosty? I'm starting too. You have to drive really fast, Laura. How is that possible? Just you wait, I'll catch up to you. Here we go. Faster, Laura, he's catching up. Go faster, Laura, and turn in Mr. Rabbit's burrow. I'm going as fast as I can, Moosty. I want to win. Oh, no. It's those racing cars again. Uh, in here, Miss Tortoise. Uh, uh. Oh, when is it going to be peaceful in our woods again? I can't take all this noise anymore. Just you wait, Yellow. Now I've got you. Oh no, I lost. Hooray, I won. Yay for girls, girls are the best. Laura, was it you driving that yellow car? Yes, Sam. So now you can never say again that cars are only for boys. Yay for girls! Girls are the best! This is the last stop. Everybody out. Huh? There's somebody at the door. I wonder who that could be. Moosty, you've got visitors. Sam, Laura, have you come to play? Yeah, with my new train. Look, Moosty, I got it for my birthday. Come on inside. I've got a surprise for you. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, kids. Have fun playing. <laughs> Look. This is my surprise. Wow, a train just like mine, only red. Look, mine is green. That's a great surprise. Now we can make a really long track with two trains. Good idea, Laura. We can lay track all throughout the house. Our friends immediately get to work. <sighs> Laura lays tracks in the hall. <laughs> Moosty lays tracks in the kitchen. There we go. And Sam lays tracks in the living room. I'm ready. Can we start now, everyone? I'm ready, too. The tunnel is finished. Everything is ready in the kitchen. Start the train, Sam. Choo-choo. Off they go. The trains are on their way, Laura. Okay, hooray! They're through the tunnel. Stop! 
The train has arrived. End of the line for passengers to this station. Please exit. Everyone ready for the next trip? The conductor is ready, Moosty. The tunnel is ready, Moosty. The cake is ready, Moosty. Are you all going to come and have a piece? Not yet, Mommy. We're playing right now. Okay, start the train, Sam. All right, there they go. Choo-choo, go train. Choo-choo, through the tunnel. Wait a minute, trains. I've got some special cargo for you. One piece, two pieces, and three pieces. Off you go again. Have a safe trip. Where did the trains go? Did they fall off the tracks? No, oh, Moosty, don't worry. Look, here they come. All right, to the station, little train. Bravo, Bravo little, little train. train. Yippee. Look, Moosty, the train is bringing us a delicious treat. Mmm, what a great cake. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. That was a really nice surprise. A nice surprise for my conductors. Here's a surprise for Mommy. Off you go, train, to the kitchen. Mommy, the train is bringing you a surprise. Thank you, my kind little conductors. That was really sweet. Good job, little train! <laughs> In a meadow just outside the village, there's a big circus tent. Musti's excited and very curious. He and Daddy are going to take a closer look. The circus tent is beautifully decorated with colored flags. And around the tent, there are caravans and cages with animals. Look, Moosty, there are the elephants. Oh, and look there, Daddy. There's the lion's cage. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Have you come to visit our circus? Yes, Ringmaster. I've come here with my son, Moosty, to take a look around, if that's all right. Sure, of course it's all right. Come with me, I'll give you the grand tour. This is where Olaf the elephant lives. Here, Olaf, here's an apple. <laughs> His trunk is so funny. Follow me, let's take a look at the chimps. And here lives Bongo, our friendly chimp. A chimp? What chimp? I don't see any chimp. The cage is empty. Oh, what do you mean, empty? Oh, goodness gracious! Bongo has escaped again! I can't believe this. He was just here. He couldn't have gone far. Don't worry, Ringmaster. We'll help you look for Bongo. Look, Daddy. There are peanuts on the ground. If we follow this trail of peanuts, maybe it'll take us to Bongo. That's a very clever idea, Moosty. Well done, Moosty. I didn't notice those peanuts at all. Come on, Moosty. Let's follow the trail. Okay. Bongo seems to have been dropping peanuts everywhere he went. The trail leads over there, Daddy. Come on. That's strange, Moosty. The trail seems to be leading to our house. Oh, no. Daddy, I hope Mommy is all right. It's true. Bongo's trail does seem to be leading to Moosty's house. He went behind the house. Come on, but be careful. Okay. I think Bongo climbed in through the kitchen window. Daddy, look! That's really funny! Is that your new friend, dear? Sweetheart, Moosty! 
Just after you two left, this chimp jumped in through the window. <laughs> and I jumped too, with fright. But he's a very sweet chimp, and he's got very good manners. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Bongo, what are you doing here? Don't you have to go back to the circus? <laughs> I got tired of eating peanuts. I wanted a delicious banana. Ow. But when I'm finished, I'll go back to the circus. <laughs> ah, ah! Mommy, can Bongo have another banana to eat on the way? Yes, of course. Is this one okay, Bongo? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy chimp. A little while later, Moosty and Daddy take Bongo back to the circus. I'm so happy Bongo is back home safe and sound. As a reward, I'd like you to come to tonight's show free of charge. Yippee! Did you hear that, Daddy? Mommy will be so happy to see Bongo again. And that's not all. Moosty also gets a bag of peanuts from Bongo. Thank you very much, Ringmaster. <laughs> Bongo prefers bananas. <laughs> <laughs> the circus is leaving Moosty's town. When Bongo the chimp passes by Moosty's house, he waves. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bongo. See you next year. I'm going to miss you! I'll miss the circus, too. A year is a really long time. But we don't have to wait a year. We can create our own circus. Do you want to help, Sam? Yeah, of course. But how? We don't have any wild animals, and we don't have a funny chimp. Don't worry, it's going to be a great circus. Just you wait and see. Later that day, Mr. Moosty's circus has finally arrived in the garden. Mommy, Daddy, and Marie are waiting impatiently for the first show. Laura and Belle are sitting in the front row. There's Moosty, the circus ringmaster. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Moosty's circus. Let's give a big round of applause for our first act. The Native Americans! <laughs> and now, this is very difficult on one leg! <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Rabbit! Well done! Gentlemen, now here comes Sam and his fierce tiger. <laughs> hey, Sam, where's your tiger? My tiger? Come on, tiger, where are you? Suddenly, Mr. Dog appears. He's painted like a tiger. Here, tiger, lie down. Belle, it's only a circus. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep very quiet. Here comes the great Tiger Leap. All right, jump, Tiger. Come on, jump. You can do it. Jump, Tiger. Mr. Dog, that was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't be scared. The tiger is now going to roar very loudly. Tiger, roar as loud as you can, order Sam. Everyone laughs at Mr. Dog's joke. Moosty finds it funny too. Mr. Dog and Sam are now roaring with laughter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
I also have a little surprise for each of you in my magic hat. Here we are, a delicious bone for Belle. Oh. Oh, thank you, Moosty. Something sweet for Laura. Oh. <laughs> And flowers for the mommies. Thank you very much, Ringmaster Moosty. Oh, thanks. And later on, Daddy will get his hat back. And then I'll conjure up a tasty treat for all the circus performers. Bravo for Mr. Moosty's circus. Bravo! Thank you, everyone, for your applause. And we hope to see you next year at Mr. Moosty's Circus. Thank you. Thank you. A beautiful dolphin is swimming in one of the pools at the aquarium. The dolphin show has just begun. Moosty is sitting in the front row with his friends Laura and Sam. They can hardly believe their eyes. The trainer holds a big hoop above the water and shouts, Come on, Dolly, jump through the hoop! And then the dolphin leaps out of the water and jumps through the hoop gracefully. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Shouts the audience as they clap their hands. For our next trick, I'll need a boy or girl from the audience to help me. Who would like to come up here? Any volunteers? Go on, Moosty. I just know you can do it. Me! Pick me, sir! Then come over here, young man. A round of applause, please, for this brave young man. What's your name, young fellow? My name's Moosty, sir. I'm Alfred. Come on, Dolly. Say hello to Moosty. Hello, Dolly. I'm Moosty. Hello, Moosty. Would you like to do some tricks? Sure, that would be great. Look at this, Moosty. There's a fish hanging at the end of this long stick. I want you to hold it above the water and shout, Jump, Dolly! Jump, Dolly! Jump! Well done, Moosty! Good job, Dolly! Now give Dolly this tasty reward, Moosty. Here, Dolly. Here's a tasty fish for you. Thank you, Moosty. Let's do another trick. Okay. Moosty, do you like to play ball? Yes, sir, very much. Here, catch. Dolly likes to play ball, too. Throw the ball into the water and shout, Dolly, ball! Dolly Ball! Dolly Ball! Catch it, Moosty! Uh. Oh. I won! Yes, she did. Dolly just loves to play ball. Here, Moosty. Put on this swimming vest. Ladies and gentlemen, my wonderful assistant Moosty is now going to take a trip on the Dolly boat. Are you ready, Moosty? Uh -huh. Then follow me. This is the Dolly boat. Would you like to get in, Moosty? Uh, okay, sir. Then in you go. Come on, Dolly. Push the boat. And Dolly pushes the little boat forward. Don't be scared, Moosty. I'll push very gently. I'm not scared, Dolly. Not with you. You're the nicest dolphin in the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Moosty and Dolly. Next time, I'm going to raise my hand, says Sam. And then I'll go, too, says Laura. 
Musti is very happy. He's never made such an amazing new friend as Dolly the Dolphin.